Oh. April, you know, uh, it's supposed to bring May flowers, not traffic yeah. jams. It was a pretty yeah. wild day uh, to start, or yeah, you know, wild start to the day, and then you know everything melted in the afternoon. Of course, yeah, you got yeah, sunshine, yeah. and that was that. But it was pretty incredible, and actually, it was our latest uh, snowfall in Portland, at least since official records started getting kept in 1940. Here's a look at some of those snowstorm totals from that day. Again, this was a year ago today. We got two inches in downtown Portland three and a half inches in northeast Portland. You can see some of these numbers pretty impressive. More than five inches in Happy Valley, five inches uh, in Corbett. Why does it say 11? Hmm, we'll have to check that. We have Corbett listed twice with two different numbers. Uh, here are your totals for the Washington area, one and a half inches for Vancouver and more than five there at Hazel Dell. So yeah, that was that was quite the day. Uh, looks beautiful out there now from all of our cameras. Honestly, this is what it looks like along the coast in Seaside from our Shiloh Inns cam. Temperatures are in the upper 40s. Lots of beautiful sunshine out there. And here's the view from our Shriners Hospital camera up in the West Hills. It's 53 degrees right now in the Rose City. We did see some scattered showers earlier today, but now it's looking mainly dry and sunny out there. Here's a look at your high temperatures in Portland the last couple of weeks. So we did hit 54 today at the airport, just a couple degrees warmer than yesterday, but a lot of 50 degree temperatures here the last couple of weeks. Oh, did my clicker die? Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's wanting to go out on me. Uh, yesterday, though, we did break a rainfall record in Portland. Uh, Big Pineapple Express came through. We got more than an inch in that day. The previous record was in 2022, just under a half inch. So we have now surpassed our typ typical April rainfall. Um, we're just about 11 days into the month. So we're sitting at more than three inches of rain in Portland, and we know more is on the way. But we're trending drier here for the next several days. So we're going to be dry the rest of the evening tonight. We do have that weak front that comes through. That's going to bring us showery conditions, mostly overnight. If you're out along the coast, you'll probably see the rain closer to 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, this could bring some snow chances or mixed uh, shower chances if you're up a little bit higher, say in the hills. It's going to be tough to see any accumulation, though, because the ground's pretty warm. And by the time we get to that morning commute, our models are really wanting to spread those showers out a lot more. So for the rest of your day Wednesday, it's looking like mostly sunny skies. We've still got a couple showers here and there mixed in with the sun breaks. And then we should be dry until Thursday around lunchtime. We've got maybe some shower chances there in the afternoon and evening. And Friday is looking like a generally dry day. So here is that seven day forecast. Uh, just a shower or two tomorrow, shower chance on Thursday, and then two dry days there, Friday and Saturday, with temperatures on those days topping out right around 60 degrees. Then we're going to bring that precipitation back second half of the day Sunday. Models wanting to put that kind of in the evening hours, and then it's going to be pretty showery there Monday and Tuesday, and also cooler. You'll notice those temperatures back down in the mid-50s. Pete, Riel?